And our Christian who has made a difference is a woman who was born at the beginning of the 20th century in a working-class family in England. She had no special academic abilities or aptitudes, but she had a profound impact on China. And she featured in a Hollywood blockbuster film called The Inn of the Sixth Happiness, starring Ingrid Bergman. And her name is Gladys Aylward. Gladys was born in a working-class family in London in 1902. She became a household servant at an early age, but she developed an ambition to go overseas as a Christian missionary. She studied with determination but was turned down because her academic background was inadequate. The missionary training school to which she applied was convinced that it wouldn't be possible to learn the Chinese language at her age. She then heard of a 73-year-old missionary, Mrs Jeannie Lawson, who was looking for a younger woman to carry on her work in China. Gladys wrote to Mrs Lawson and was accepted for the position if she could get there. Gladys did not have enough money for the ship fare, but did have enough for the train fare. And so in October 1930, she set out from London with her passport, her Bible, her tickets, and two pounds nine pence to travel to China by the Trans-Siberian Railway. This was despite the fact that Russia and China were at war at the time. Eventually, she arrived at Yangchen, south of Beijing, and started work with Mrs Lawson. The two of them uh, thought the best way to communicate with the locals was to start an inn, and this they did. The mule train workers and mules stayed at their inn overnight for food and shelter. In the evenings, Gladys would tell stories about Jesus to entertain the travellers. Each day, she spent four hours learning Chinese. Unfortunately, Mrs Lawson was injured in a fall and died a short while afterwards, leaving Gladys to carry on alone. A few weeks later, the local Mandarin arrived at the inn, met Gladys and offered her the job of enforcing a new law that stopped Chinese women binding their feet. In those days, middle and upper class Chinese women bound their feet in order to walk in a more elegant manner. Gladys eagerly accepted the position and travelled throughout the area promoting the new policy. She also took all available opportunities to tell people about Jesus and the new way to be right with God. In 1936, she officially became a Chinese citizen. Gladys started adopting children who were alone and uncared for and soon had about 100 she cared for at the inn. When war broke out with Japan in 1938, she started caring for scores of injured soldiers, Chinese soldiers as well. As war pressed closer with shelling and armed conflict, uh, she realised she needed to move to a safer area and take her children with her. She marched inland with 100 children for 28 days across mountains and rivers and eventually reached the relative safety of Xi'an. This experience left her physically weakened and emotionally drained. She never fully recovered, but in 1943 she moved to Chengdu to begin a church. She also set up a colony to care for people with leprosy near the Tibetan border. After 20 years in China, Gladys returned to England in 1940. She was embarrassed to find that she had become a celebrity. A book, movie, The Inn of the Sixth Happiness, Stone Ingrid Bergman and a TV documentary were all made about her life. She continued to travel and speak about her beloved China, but returned to Taiwan in 1957 as she was not allowed to enter China itself. She died in 1970 at the age of 68. Gladys Aylward was a humble Christian of gigantic achievements. Since Gladys Aylward, and partly due to her, Christianity has grown by leaps and bounds in China. This is despite persecution of Christians under communism. It is estimated that there are now between 60 million and 100 million Christians in China. There are now more Chinese at church on a Sunday than in all of Europe. We salute Gladys Aylward, a Christian who has made a difference. Christian. 